Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hyperborea, a server-based Minecraft adventure. Now, this is a completely unique concept to me. I've played many an adventure maps. I've played modded adventure maps, but I've never played one that's been hosted on a server. So the links to all that will be down in my description below. So if you want to, if you want to come on, check out this server and uh, possibly... I don't know if it's going to be single player instances, but you know, see me on here and while I'm recording and say, hi, hey, please feel free. Come on. I would appreciate that. I'm sure the map maker would appreciate that. But anyways, moving on here, I did poke around this hub area for a little bit and I noticed there's no sound, no NPCs. It's just a broken world and you happen to be here. And I think this just eerie silence with the snow is just a beautiful, a beautiful atmosphere setting. Adventure map. Whoa. I guess we just kind of go down the long hallway here. It's it's just like there's there's nothing, there's no sound. It may or may not like have music playing in the background but if I have music playing in the background just note there's no music that's me doing stuff post editing wow what is this place The, I love this aesthetic that they've gone for here. They've definitely gone with a uh, sort of... Oh. Ooh. I don't want your gift. It's the Umbral Word. With it, defeating our forces will invigorate you. Okay. <laughs> Seek Leng. It is in the name, it is the name of nameless things. Oh. So the reason that this map is played on a server is because apparently there's a bunch of plugins that the, that the map maker wants to kind of keep, kind of keep to himself. I'm just gonna... Okay, there we go. Hmm. I guess multiple people can be playing through this map at a time, because it would have been really cool as if I take the sword it disappeared, but it must be, this must not be instanced per player. Let's see, a sword made of otherworldly material. The ancient ones of Fendrana traversed the void, discovered nameless things. By the curse of the Umbral Mark, kill enemies to regain health. Okay. Killing enemies to regain health. That's pretty reminiscent of uh, the last map that we played. I have a feeling that guy's not friendly. Well, it doesn't matter if he's friendly or not, he's dead. Not the last map that we played. What was the uh, antithesis? A rogue alchemist. Oh, yes, he's... Hit you. You just must be healing a lot. Oh. Healed. Okay. Lovely. Yes, antithesis was much the same way, whereas you killed enemies, you could pick up health packs. Things of that nature.
This is a little, this is a slightly chaotic tutorial, if I do say so. Oh! Wait, I do have my goal. I have to go seek out Lang. Maybe if I avoid the bats, they'll just kind of leave well enough alone. That looks like a path. We do a little healing. I know that there's uh, that there are things out there for like MMO Minecraft maps, and I think something like that would be uh, would be very would be very cool to see how somebody could work that out. Hello. I notice I have a very similar armor setup to the the zombies or the skeletons out here. Very disconcerting. I wonder if it's... Oh, it looks like the only way is forward. A goblin. So far, no NPCs, just mobs. Hmm. It's just so eerie. Like, this environment, it's just... It's just so unsettling. just far too quiet. I half expect something to like jump out and scare the shit out of me. Like this is a beautifully developed environment. I really like the respawn anchor. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, so I need to go and kill him, obviously. Ow. Okay. Ooh. Dude's got some precision aiming, man. My, my dude there had some real precision aiming. That was a little confusing. Alright, how do I go... Oh! Ow! Oh. I get it now. Oh! And the bats for... Like, health sort. Okay. Oh, this is almost like a stealth... Like a stealth fight. I like that a lot, actually. Interesting. So it's my... Oh, it's a, like a bestiary. Oh, left click to show the bestiary. Oh. There's like full... This is like an RPG just as much as it is like an adventure map. 
So I, I, again, I do wonder, like, how much of this is instanced? Like, I know this is a server that multiple people can play on, but is this just, like, my own personal instance of this? Or the boss fight? Well, the boss fight, it, the boss fights must be instanced, but maybe people can run around here. These are log notes of Captain Kalev Ruin. It is the sixth Felto year. Myself and my crew have been sent on an expedition by the Bureau of Archaeological Research to investigate these ruins. I must admit the strangest thing ever encountered. These buildings are well-preserved, expertly engineered, and made of unknown pinkish material. I cannot reasonably date them, but the technology required for these structures suggests they may be as recent as the last century? Interesting. Runic altar requires arcane eye, of which I do not have. Looks like I'll be shortcutting back here in a little bit. Wow. Okay. Oh, I must need to... There we go. No problem. I like that even though this world looks very expansive, like there's definitely, these are grandiose structures here, there is like this linear path that you're following. So it's, it's not, the path isn't blatantly laid out for you, right? Like there's no like big sign here, like you know, go here. But the path is laid out in such a way that it is, you know, easy enough to figure out where one might need to go. I think I need to get over there. I think the best course of action is to jump it. And like I said, shortcut. I definitely need to go there. But what's down? There it is. A linguistic study of the gravestone in writings has contradicted my previous assessment. The dialect user suggests that the structures may be over 500 years old. I don't know what to think of this yet. The knowledge required to build these structures is more than even our current civilization possesses. Ooh, like a lost city of Atlantis thing. I believe the name of this map is in reference to something, some Greek story. Um, I just don't know the full... Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a turret. Very nice. That's a cool way of, like, doing a doing a sort like a fence you can't pass and the turret there like the little eye of ender turret that's very that's very creative i see why they had to do plugins for this this is very well done Ah! I guess there is no, uh... Oh. I lived! I thought I died, but I lived. Or maybe I should have died? Oh, no. I am not going to... be able to get back up here, so I might as well just... Just die here real quick. Okay, yeah, let's one one more time here. I failed at parkouring and Yeah, let's try this one more time. Very good. Wow. Oh, wait, maybe. Okay, I get it now. 
I get it. I just cannot jump for... I cannot just jump for the life of me. That's fine. That's fine. I, I have resigned my fate. I acknowledge that I, I cannot jump. There we go. Okay, let's try this one more time here. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that last jump there. Oh, brilliant. Oh, more... There's an anchor point I need to get to right there. Okay, we got this. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Nailed it. I just want to get to this anchor point here. Hyperborean crypt. So I'm in the I'm in the crypt of the namesake of this map. As a tutorial, trying to like teach me things, I think this is just brilliantly done. You're basically being given kill and go find this guy. And I believe that this does just a fantastic job of kind of guiding you. Oh. Elder Abomination. Actually, the parasites I should be saving for. Uh... Oh, he's got a little circle around him. Okay, I get it. This. Ooh. All right. Yeah, this ain't too bad. Oh, okay, this is bad. Unfortunately, there's Parasite Seal. I love this whole... You must murder to kill things. I think that's just brilliant. It's, it's definitely... I love subtle mechanics... I love mechanics like this. While not overly subtle, do encourage you to... be on the offense. If you want to heal, you have to go kill. Umbral kill. A helmet that smells of rust blood, perhaps. Although perhaps designed as a muzzle, it serves just as well as armor. That's kind of neat looking. Neat boss fight. Very simple mechanics, easy to pick up. Well, I did something I was supposed to. I'm assuming that I need to jump down there. Oh! It's a very safe assumption, because I jumped down there and I did not die. I thought that was... I thought that was Pit. It was not Pit. If it was a Pit, I'd name it Brad. My Brad Pit. Nothing? No? Alright. I understand. Looks like it would be uh, a tavern, almost. Despite the present danger, I must still document the this incident. The crew under my supervision attempted to open the tomb and were attacked by some sort of creature. The Wu Dog, Brandon, using some sort of form of spirea, was able to defend me from the creature, but I do not believe any of the others survived. I am worried that the by the... Uh, flag hung outside the building. The people of Fendrana have been this far north multiple times, and yet our history of it has constantly vanished. Interesting. Something is afoot, and I don't know if I like it. Hello? It's so eerily quiet, just all the time. Carcass Shrine. A Carcass Shrine. Oh, that's just unfortunate sounding. Will allow me to kind of 
venture around here? Is it gonna, like, invisible wall me? Oh, a hidden stash! Look at me go. What's protecting the hidden stash? Consumable. Consumable. And consumable. Okay, you get consumables. Interesting. Have I discovered anything? It would be cool is as you discovered stuff in, in the bestiary, it would... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It would uh, give, it, give a different symbol. And maybe it does, and I just haven't discovered anything worthwhile discovering. I have accepted that. Demonic spot. The demonic spot would be kind of tanky. floor looks like it's made out of lava. Oh, hello! Oh, bats. Ooh, I can't run on this material, whatever it is. Yeah, okay, that gives me, like, slowness. Or maybe just now I have slowness and... Nope. but it affects everything with slowness. Okay. Ooh, that's... Oh, the, the bat scared the shit out of me. That's fine, that's fine. This is absolutely a brilliant map. I am loving just this whole aesthetic, this whole atmosphere. There's just something unsettling about this whole experience, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Like, I am just, like, I am, obviously it's a map, and you're welcome to the map, but this whole area gives off, just, like, everything gives off an air of, I'm not welcome here. I should not be here. It's like a, a normal adventure map. Like, hey, you're in a tunnel. Like, we're happy to have you here. Here's our loot. This, it's, we're really gonna, we don't want you here. You're literally, like, I'm literally in a carcass right now. I am not welcome here. And I like that. That aesthetic is just... Oh, kind of showing where I... where I came from here. Ooh, hello! Hello, Mr. Fortress Imp. You heard an awful lot. Ooh! Ooh, the Fortress Imps... They do be packing a punch. It looks like as I kill things, they don't necessarily respawn right away, which I definitely appreciate. Oh, just, oh, wait, no, yep, yeah, they, oh, yep, yeah, nope, they respawn. Ooh. Things in here not to be taken lightly. I hear bats. Heal. Alright, I want to get to like a decent-ish point here before I stop. Okay, yeah. He's kind of stuck there. That's fine. <sighs> I have no time for bats. Okay, two here. Oh, there's no recharge time on the sword. I just noticed that. So it's really just... Whack away as fast as I can. As an avid enjoyer of the of the combat before they turned it to the... All right, now we'll sit here and wait 30... Wait here a second or two for it to... I am definitely an avid enjoyer of... AI on the... It's like the mob AI has just been tweaked ever so slightly. Yeah. 
interesting. Do I really want to be fighting these guys? I don't think so. Huh. Another rogue alchemist? The rogue alchemists give health pots. So you can just farm those guys for health pots. Brilliant. Oh, they turn invisible when you hit them briefly? I wonder if that's a... Uh... Let's try out this knife here. Oh, that's brilliant. I like that. Ammo crate. Shoot the anchor. That's just an unfortunately looking eyeball thing. Okay, so when I take my knife here and I just... Oh, oh, okay, okay, all right. I understand now. An explosive. Oh, that's... That's awesome. I can get behind that kind of mechanic. That's cool. Uh... I think I just encountered the most dangerous mob in this game. Wow. Sure did encounter the most dangerous enemy in this game. I think that's a very good stopping place. Once again, if you guys would like to join me on this adventure, like I said, this is a server. All the information will be down below. Just come on and join me. I'll be on for like the next week or so off and on, probably later in the day. Come on, say hi. I'm sure the map maker will appreciate all the extra traffic. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>